Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on uh, Boba Fett's throne room for from the Disney Plus series, The Book of Boba Fett, that is now being released, of course, or just been released, of course. So on the front of the large box here, which, as you see, still has that interesting border like that we've seen on some at the beginning of the year, but, it's, but of course, the... Uh, uh, stripe part of it now in dark green, suiting to that of Boba Fett, and of course, minifig versions of Boba Fett and Shvanic Shand, of course. And so it's got the two logos and recommended ages is nine and up, nine and up, set number 75326, has 732 pieces. And have a picture of everything in that there is, and all the minifigs included. Of course. And now onto the back of the box. You have another picture of it and also all the different features around it. Disney logo, logos again. And, and yeah. <coughs> now onto the instruction manual. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. Okay. And then some of the last steps of it. So not at all any advertisements in this one. Kind of a bummer, but what, whatever. And now on to the seven mini things included with this set. So from left to right, we which have Boba Fett, same as from last year's Boba Fett Starship or Slave One set, and Fennec Shan, same as from last year's Imperial Light Cruiser set, but at least cheaper way to get her, of course. But although it doesn't have the helmet piece like she did in that set, but although this hair piece, uh, there's not much representing her, um, like in the show, but. Maybe they'll fix that in the future, but yeah. And then center is Bit Fortuna, which first time we've seen since 2012 with uh, Boba, or I mean uh, Jabba's Palace, of course, but at least the head part piece, quite different and a little bit larger than the past ones, but at least it kind of shows him more, you know, bloated and whatnot in this show. And then on to the Gamorrean Guard, which same had top part, same as it's been since 2012 and 13. But all that, but leg printing all new and different. Oh, and also Pit Fortuna's leg print torso prints all done well. Of course, and a weak way warrior, of course, or weak way guard, of course. Which as you see, his face print, torso print, all done really good, great, fully. And of course, holding a blaster or gunmetal blaster force. And then we, which have a have core, of course, yeah. And which all new to this, and also interesting new headpiece that is a soft rubber material. And of course, nice torso, some good torso printing, leg printing, all done quite gratefully as well. Last of which we have a Thelan or Thelan Dancer, a Thelan Dancer, of course, which as you see for her front torso print, leg printing, of which quite interesting, appears to be white with the reddish sky blue color onto it, and of course, interesting toe printings, kind of like in Liz Chima, of course, and if I can get to get off the hair piece, of which as you can see. See, face print done pretty well, of course, with those uh, odd horn things printed on as well. And of course, the hair piece of which, all in this nice pink color, and of course, very nice use of it. Although, I think this of which would go really work out on Pelimoto, of course. 
So saying, no, flip to the back, so each of which. And if I get all of the accessories off. And as you can see, all of which do have some good back torso printing and some all right double side faces, and of course, good back head printing for the uh, Weekway Warrior, and very slight for Boba Fett, but that's all right. Probably to show all of what he has done for, for for this show and the Mandalorian. That's about it with all the mini things here. And now on to what was previously Java's Palace and now Boba Fett's Palace itself. So overall it would be quite good for what it is, or quite good form of it, but although a slight downgrade from the uh, Jabba's Palace set from 2012, but, but of course without the large roof part that, and also the tower, just like a little bit shorter than that one. But of course probably to make it more suiting and more affordable for the hype of this show, of course. Oh, thank you. Let's see. How about this fur? So fur one side of which as the same kind of stuff going on as the previous versions and also but without the large dome roof of which and but also on this roof of, of which do, do have a couple of those uh, cage pieces but you can see like sunlight or I mean uh, skylines you can say. And what these open hinge parts of which, not sure what for. Some are saying that it could be like for an extension part of it that is yet to come, but not sure about that, but we'll see. And of course, on one side, which does have red snake piece for whatever reason. And have the front doorway section. Oh, it, and of course, uh, quite similar to the last version, but. It, this top turret here is on a mixel style ball joint to which with a couple of those odd brick pieces added on for some extra bits quite nice quite nice and as for this tower which has a large open bit to it and if you notice there's a large gaping hole in there but there's a reason for that which I'll show in, in a minute as for this front doorway here which as I zoom in which, as you can see, which has this thing that opens, extends out, just like in Return of the Jedi. So, when R two D two and C three PO come to the doorway, and then, of course, does that. But you can just slide it on up, and it's done quite nice and securely, and enter the palace. And on for the other side of which, as you can see, even with this Technic beam or Technic rod stick in there. It's still good to push down on, of course. And on the inside, which a uh, mug piece, but in silver, very interesting. And also, you get one of those interesting uh, odd plate brick pieces for whatever reason. And also, this part, not a sticker, but printed. But there's very few stickers in this set, very nice. And also, one little feature is you which have this little technique gear sticking out and what that's for is for one of these features that mount a fig on to there and twist it and they trip right out for that. Kind of cheesy but whatever. But on the southern side of which, which just has just a couple of seat, uh, chairs or stools there and also what must be a little drink of blue milk or something and top part of which does have a little barrel right here there. and of course is holding a couple of thermal detonators in there they're quite nice not sure why on this roof part although I think it 
could have worked out as somewhere in there, but maybe it would take up a little room or whatever. And now also a little feature is, as you can tell by those hinge parts, is that you can just swing them in and out, of course. But although, forgot to mention for this side, the exterior, which done quite all right. It's, and of course with this uh, grill piece there, just representing ventilation. And of course, and also the clip there would hook right onto there. And also, same with on the other side, of course. But also for this back part, which we can like, like uh, pull right out, of course. And as for this part of the interior, which does have a like frying pot and bottle and some things going on there, and also a couple little light features to there, and also one of those minifigure stand pieces from the collectible minifig series, but in, uh, in but in a solid color, like gray instead of in clear. So quite interesting to see that there. As one side of which does have a tiny crate with a couple of bones in it, and also. A little stool or mini table, also with a little cylinder piece on there, and of course, do have this little grill that has a couple of chicken legs, uh, like pieces, sending on there, and you can of course turn either this cylinder or wheel to represent it to, uh, roasting on this uh, little grill here. And close it up nice securely. And as for this front part of which, you which had this large throne, which is kind of on the spot that Jabba used to be on. And also, of course, it has a few good stickers on it, like, of course, these tiles that have the Rancor put on them, and also these couple more stickers behind there, and also up here. So there's only very few stickers here, of course. A couple of things around, and also another cylinder with a welder piece it's on there. Oh, and also this back part. Okay, that is a little crate that holds a classic crystal piece, of course. Which not sure if I don't think it's a Kuiper crystal or it's probably just some something else, of course. But whatever. You see. Good snot technique with the studs on here, and also one of those odd bricks there, of course. And also on said throne, to have one a single stud that you can fit either bit for tuna or like in, or like in the last bit of Mandalorian season two is a, a Boba Fett himself on there, or like in the posters of it. But odd feature one, and also if you notice this technique bit right here is you push on that and makes them go flying right off, like they got shot at or something. And also, the like large vent grill part floor bit here is a which where you can look down and see the Rancor pit for that, but if, I'm not sure if it's true or whatever, but I think, or if there gets to be another Rancor pit set, maybe it'll be added on, just like the 2012 and 13 sets, of course, but yeah. But I'll also like the past last version where you can pull this out and but actually pull out completely and she suddenly reveals this hidden part of it which has a couple of blasters and also a pair of uh, metallic gray gold bar pieces representing credits of course but yeah so nice feature for that and of course but not sure if it's me, but and of course you can like, as for these two, swing in like that. You can have it like that, or like that. Well, however you want. Although I think this which way kind of works out, because you get to see how it has a nice diorama going on, of course, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So, for my overall verdict, so, 
Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay. So for my overall verdict, I think this witch is a quite cool set and good way to start off the Book of Boba Fett uh, range of sets, of course. Well, since, of course, this, this particular part of it was, of course, in the last episode of Mandalorian Season 2, of course. And if you have followed all the show, then you'd probably know what to, what to expect, of course. And as for the minifig selection, good to see... Nice to see a nice good return of Bib Fortuna, which we haven't seen in since 2012, of course. Same with the Gamorrean card as well, of course. And, of course, a few good interesting figs, of course. And, uh, which, although it would have been nice if we had a couple extra characters from the show also here, but whatever. They'll probably be, be in other sets down the line, but whatever. And, of course, yeah. And also, do you think Fennec Shan could have had her helmet piece on? Or maybe that is for a different time. And, and of course, the price for pizza, which is uh, quite good for what it is. Well, And of course, despite being $20 less than the last version, but it's still good to go around, of course. But yeah. And if you still have, and if you're looking to get this set, then definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to continue your collection of Mandalorian and or otherwise Book of Boba Fett sense, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.